It was 4 a.m. And though my fire team should have stepped away from Destiny to Taken King's fantastic endgame raid hours ago, the six-player assault kept us awake to try and stomp our way to the final boss. This expansion is the shot in the arm that Destiny needed. Your fate lies below. Embrace it. This challenging co-op gauntlet isn't the only thing fueling our lust for better loot drops and great shooting in the new expansion. There are plenty of changes, big and small, that make Destiny a much better game. The short but sweet campaign, menacing taken enemies, clever bosses, and rewarding loot system, combined with another inventive raid, have made these late night play sessions a regular thing. The campaign is a fun highlight with a succinct six hour story that uses clever level designs, gorgeous cinematic cutscenes, and funny dialogue to keep me intrigued and invested. Kate Six steals the show with witty one liners delivered by actor Nathan Fillion. Kate, our discussion is not yet concluded. Oh, I know. That's why I'm leaving. It's a shame the storytelling effort fades into the background once again, once you wrap up the campaign. But the volume of things to do kept me too busy to complain. Completing the many quest lines never felt like busy work because of the intelligently designed taken enemies and boss monsters. Each one brings something unique to the table. Corrupted scions split into copies. Taken captains will flush you out of cover and temporarily blind you. New and different tactics like these kept me on the edge of my seat. Bosses benefit from this new creative direction as well. I'd never seen anything like the Sunless Cell's tense final encounter, where you're trapped in a dimly lit arena with a deadly dark blade as he teleports around the room to chop up your squad with a heavy axe. A few bosses that show up in the Court of Oryx are hit and miss, but overall, the Taken King's bosses are more memorable than Big Bullet sponges. When the fights are over, we're showered with lots of useful rewards. That fixes one of my biggest complaints about Destiny's initially stingy loot system. I also like how I don't have to immediately give up on high level gear because another item has better stats. The infusion system lets me melt down new items to reinforce your old favorite items and keep them useful much longer. The Taken King is a fun solo game, but it's a much better cooperative one that rewards you for working with friends or strangers. And in some cases, you'll need all the help you can get like when you're deep in the labyrinth Dreadnought Warship. Here, knowledge on how to decipher hidden mechanisms to unlock chests and defeat bosses is essential. The endgame raid, King's Fall, requires teaming up with five friends to play, which highlights Destiny's ongoing lack of matchmaking tools. But once you organize, it's the single best piece of the Taken King expansion. The way it uses impressive scale, involved teamwork, unique puzzles, and difficult bosses to craft a one-of-a-kind shooter experience. Destiny the Taken King is an awesome upgrade that's addressed most of my biggest problems with Destiny over the past year. The rewarding loot system, fun enemies, and many quests have kept me busy long after the story missions have ended. But King's Fall is a demanding high-level activity that, despite the strict six-person requirement, will keep me playing into the late hours of the night. For more Destiny the Taken King coverage, you are already in the right place, IGN.